ground, as, uh, ground officials have decided to withhold some of those afternoon activities because of the Triple E virus. And this is having an effect on local sports. But everybody agrees it's a good thing as long as the children remain safe. It, it definitely, you gotta, you gotta adjust your schedules because you know, the kids' health is what comes first. Len Beebe was one of the parents who got the call from the town of Groton restricting afternoon activities. Groton joins Ledyard, North Stonington, and Stonington as Connecticut towns testing positive for the mosquito-borne Triple E virus. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control, the rare virus that causes brain infections affects five to ten people a year. 30% of reported cases end in death. Tripoli e has already taken three lives this year, including people from Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Groton's town council, managers, and school administrators decided to take precautions. They are revoking permits, allowing for events after 6.30 p.m. until dawn on school and town fields indefinitely. Kind of interesting to see what the coaches decide to do and, and how we go forward with uh, afternoon activities. Fitch High School is one of the schools affected. Football practice for the Falcons wrapped up a little earlier than usual. Head coach Mike Ellis says they plan to make the most of it. And you see like tonight, they're out of here and they're getting home early before uh, we get close to dusk. Ellis says practice normally ends before dusk anyways, but games under the lights like next week's contest will need to be altered. We're not going to be able to play Friday night, so we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with that game. It's not only high school sports being affected by this curfew, but it's also local youth programs being affected as well. It has affected and it, it probably will affect us. You know, we, we do spend a lot of times outdoors. Youth soccer, baseball and field hockey, amongst other fall programs, will see scheduled changes as well. The Groton Parks and Recreation Department says all activities will be rescheduled. Everyone agreeing the minor inconvenience is worth protecting their children. It's a great idea. You have to protect the kids. You have to make sure that they're taken care of. Lather them up in bug spray, you know, if you have to, but, you know, you just got to... We can take care of them. That's what the biggest thing is. And Fitch High School's athletic director says that everybody has been extremely accommodating when it comes to rescheduling games, referees, and transportation. Now, September 21st, they will be moving the restrictions up to 6 p.m. as dust settles in earlier. And again, these will be in place until further notice. Live in Grot, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.